Welcome to the installation video for the Total Door Systems Safe Frame. Safe Frame is the first and only complete frame and door system that has been tested as an assembly for elevator shaft protection. No extra construction, no special wall construction, and no need to build elevator lobbies. Just perfectly integrated function and design that also meets all life safety codes. Let's get started with the installation process for the frame. The frames are delivered with the doors and come in two long boxes. One box for the sub box and the other for the finish shell. Each box will be labeled with the job number and line number and denote whether it contains the finish shell or sub buck. The first box to use is for the sub buck, containing the pieces that will be placed directly against the wall. The sub buck box contains instructions and the screw set that is appropriate for different wall conditions. One set for concrete or masonry, one set for wood, and one for steel stud construction. Check the wall conditions by making sure they are plumb. Then, check the floor conditions to make sure the floor is level. Before beginning installation, verify you have the correct frame. Measure overall frame width. Add two inches to that figure. Then, measure from the floor to the top of the frame, adding one inch. Make sure these measurements match the size on the label. Once the size has been verified, open the sub buck box. In this video, we will be working clockwise, beginning with the sub buck leg to the left of the door. Measure and mark 7 sixteenths of an inch from the elevator cab frame. This will help to correctly align the frame on the wall. Once the measurement is marked, take the first sub buck part and align it with the mark on the wall. Ensure that it is level. Then, install with six screws using holes on both sides of the sub buck. Do not place all of the screws. Adjustments may need to be made to make sure each piece is plumb to the wall. This will make it easier to verify squareness of the finished shell. If there is electrical, feed the wire through the one inch hole in the sub buck. Be careful not to pinch the wire under the sub buck. As each sub buck piece follows this first sub buck, a mistake here will result in the entire process requiring adjustments. With the first sub buck leg completed, it is time to attach the header. Square up the sub buck header to the leg and verify by checking the stair step interlock. Attach the header to the wall by inserting four screws in the holes on both sides of the sub buck. The sub buck header is installed properly when the gaps at stair step interlock are horizontal. Vertical gaps indicate components are not square. Before attaching the remaining sub buck leg, verify alignment by the horizontal gap at the stair step interlock. Attach the leg to the wall by inserting six screws into the holes on both sides of the sub buck. Begin the test fit for the finished shell. Start with either leg by sliding completely into place. Once the leg is in place, slide the finished shell header completely into place. Verify proper fit at the miter. Seat the remaining finished shell leg. Verify proper fit at the second miter. If the shells do not have proper alignment at the miter joints, remove the shells and adjust the sub buck for proper alignment. Once the shell fit has been verified, remove the shell starting with the leg, then the header. Install all the remaining sub buck anchors. Every pilot hole on the sub buck must receive a fastener. Before installing the finished shell, if there is electrical, please make sure the wiring is in place to be pulled through the finished shell electrical punch out 16 inches down from the frame header. The finished shell has pilot holes on both sides of the sub buck for the screws. Every pilot hole must receive a fastener. Place the first finished shell leg completely in place and attach using the pre-finished screws. Attach the header next and finally the remaining leg. Complete installation by caulking the complete perimeter of the frame. Now you are ready to install the total door. Thank you for watching the Safe Frame installation video, part of our installation video series at 
Total Door Systems Training Institute. For more information, please visit totaldoor.com.